Okay, we we can at least one tap everything else. 300 health away. Okay, yeah. We need we need like one more talisman. And we could probably figure that out somehow. Oh, maybe we can upgrade the speed talisman to a ring and that'll do it. Use Raider Axe? No, but I want to one tap with AOTE because that's the strat. Is you got to have a ton of mana. You have to use Aspect to the end. And you got to teleport like freaking crazy. The Raider Axe is slowly going to get phased out because the AOTE's ability is so much more useful. So this is going to be a pretty pog moment, chat. So you see how we have three and a half stacks of Enchanted Pumpkin here. You know what that means. Anyway, we're getting some freaking farmer boots. Boom. Here we go. This is it. We're going to make farmer boats. Boom. Incredible. And then I can go like this. Speed. Too much speed. It's already too fast. All right, we need to keep depositing Obby until we get a... Uh... Oh, that's beautiful. So much better. It's still kind of fast, but I can manage. Now we can actually farm cane as well. It requires a bit less speed than this. And this is why you should focus pumpkins if you're on a hardcore profile, because now, now we're zooming. What's next? Is it a full layer of potato? No. Once I do this full layer of cane, I think I'm going to chill with building farms. I don't remember this process taking so long, if I'm going to be honest. What if I did this? Ooh, hold on. We might be onto something here, chat. Why haven't I been doing this the whole time? I'm dumb. Now it's time to grind revs for an hour with you on stream. <laughs> I might do some slayers this stream. First, we got to fix our talismans. Or not our talismans, our, uh, our minions. So here's the plan, chat. If we can get the speed ring, that'd be kind of pog. But then what we should also do is get enough sugar cane to upgrade that minion several times. Then once we've done that, we should be only a few uniques away from the 19th minion slot. Then we got to remove the lapis, put down more coal, and then we just optimize our minion setup. And then probably at some point between now and the next stream, I should get another super compactor because we really need more of those minions that require super compactors to work. All right, I think it would be in our best interest to let the cane grow before we get any more of it. Yep, let's start crafting stuff with it. So we go into the accessory bag, we grab our speed talisman, upgrade that bad boy. Speed ring. What is happening? Forceful plays. How many times do I have to reforge? No, my money. No. Thank you. <laughs> I don't know how much this is going to get me. Tier four, five, six, seven. Nice. We only need four more uniques. We can do that. Oh, you know what would be a good idea, actually? How much do you require? Four stacks of enchanted lapis. Do we have that much? <gasps> oh, don't tell me that I don't have enough. That's going to make me sad. And it's not even going to be by that much, too. Oh. Alrighty, then. I almost... I only need 25 more enchanted lapis. All right, we'll save him for later. That's the last thing we're doing with lapis before we take the minion down. Boom. We've upgraded the fish minion to tier 7. What about glowstone minion? You need 8 stacks of... Time for shrooms. Hey, we got the mystical mushroom soup. Hey, chat, this is talisman number six today. Night vision charm. Boom. Now that one I'm keeping in here because I hate the effect this thing has. But if I am in a pinch and I need a little bit more damage, that's a sixth talisman today. Jesus. Boom. Forceful night vision charm. Nice. We're going to leave that in here. So we got the, uh, we got the shrooms. We crafted... Oh, you know what, too? We're probably getting close to the point where we could do the Romero thing. Why forceful? Because, I don't know, strength is cool. Ooh, 
just cracked all my knuckles. Okay, uh, let's see. How close are you? Okay, so we're at least getting to the point where the next collection is the thing we need for Romero. And that's the Enchanted Mushroom Block. We gotta upgrade something. Oh yeah, look at all these. So we should probably be able to get one unique from upgrading... Well, I'm not sure if we'll get enough melon. Probably not. But I think pumpkin will get two upgrades out of this. So we're going to be close. We're going to be very close. And then we'll be able to put down our uh, pigment in. Don't tell me I'm going to be able to get seven melon enchanted and just not be able to get the minion upgrade. That would make five minion upgrades that right now are so close, but I have to wait for it. That's really annoying. Not quite at seven. Just like I said. Well, at least we'll probably get something out of the pumpkin. Can't really touch the wheat yet because we don't have replenish. But I did replant the, the beans so we can harvest that as well. Cocoa beans low level. But I don't want to waste my beans. I need that. No. My freaking time and energy. Boom. Okay, that didn't hurt much. That hurt a little bit. That hurt a lot. Mm. That's fine. We got it. 19th minion slot. I wasted cocoa beans for it, but you know what? A worthy sacrifice. Ooh. 19 minion slots on the hardcore chat. That's kind of crazy. But we're almost at the point where we can get a unique out of the melon minion, but that hardly matters now because we need how many uniques? 50 more! for the 20th slot uh, oh that sucks i don't think we're getting that we need to get rid of some of this excess speed because now we gotta now we gotta harvest the beans again not looking forward to that there we go so now we get to pull together all of our resources and let's see how close we are to the replenish book your farming xp what about it Am I close to leveling up? Oh my god. <laughs> wow. I'm like a minute away from leveling up with that. Okay. Boom. Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 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 nine. Twelve or eleven. I know how to count. I want to put down more coal minions. They're way more useful, I feel like. Let's swap out a redstone one at least. And the one and the two and the three and wow one coal away thank you game <laughs> that was beautiful right, well at least you get it to tier four Thursday. hello Thursday. his microphone is broken there we go hello hello oh hello. Hello. Oh. <laughs> oh. <laughs> ah, help discord <laughs> help i can't sleep <laughs> yeah, I, I don't know how to sleep. I forgot how. <laughs> how, how long has it been? I, it's been too long. I've literally forgotten how to sleep. Did you sleep at all last night? I slept two hours. <sighs> you, just never take caffeine again. <laughs> <laughs> all right, chat. So what we're going to do now is uh, tree capitator. Oh, don't even tell me you don't die in one hit, dude. Oh, my God. Yeah, once we get the... Uh, tree capitator then we can go for wolf pet which will help us a lot with slayers oh it's lagging there's a dragon spawning Ooh, i'll take strong ow if you take the gluten out of bread it's take not bread anymore bread. i didn't order gluten with my bread I didn't order calories with my sandwich. Take them out. Bro, I hate these things. Ooh. No way. Okay. Chat. <laughs> Bruh. It's got a 40% combat XP boost. How rare is that? Last time I got the 50. This time I just got the 40. Worth 1.5 mil. I've gotten just about every drop you can get from Obsidian Defenders. Yo, what's up? Hello, everybody. Uh, 
I'm recording a segment of a video because um, spooky festivals are timed weird and they don't line up with my streams like ever, except for next one actually. I think it will uh, finally land on the same time as when I stream. But anyway, uh, I'm doing spooky festival on the hardcore profile. You might notice there's only a minute left, so I saved you guys the trouble of having to watch that. <laughs> Anyway, once the event ends in 30 seconds, I'm going to head over to the store, to the, uh, the spooky shop, and we're going to upgrade our crap. Boom. That is really good. The thing is, I started with about 40 purple candy, so don't get too crazy. Uh, <laughs> but yeah, we ended up getting pretty much all of this green candy. So what is that? Seven and a half stacks? That is extremely good. I think what I want to do is upgrade this. Oh, it's already a ring. Oh, that's annoying. Oh, we have a bat talisman now. I forgot about that. Okay, we're upgrading him then. We can actually purchase the bat ring for a stack of green candy. And then we can upgrade him again to the bat artifact for a stack. Oh, legendary accessory. Ah. Okay, so we did that. I guess we're just going to get bat fireworks and then uh, maybe we'll launch them on stream. That should give me, what, 40... Uh, purple candy? About? Maybe? We're gonna have to wait until the next festival to get that. But I mean, that's everything we really need other than, I mean, we could technically go for the spooky armor after that, and then we can go for bat person, but it isn't that important, I guess? The most important thing, the takeaway, is I was able to grab a, a bat artifact, so that was, that's kind of neat. Anyway. Uh, I just wanted to record this little segment for you guys, because, um... Hey guys, I'm back for another stream, and welcome to Hypixel Skyblock, we're on the Hardcore Profile, and before we get started... Ah... Don't worry, that's not a beer, I don't drink. So, I did you guys a service, alright? So, I knew that you guys wouldn't want to see me breaking and placing cocoa beans, uh, so I actually harvested the farm twice. Or once off camera. I replanted twice. So we got a whole bunch of enchanted cocoa beans here. Uh, let's add them to the total so we can get a replenish book. I've never actually done this manually before. I don't think I've ever gathered this many beans in Skyblock. And I did it on a profile where you had to manually get it. It, it's, it, it was a pain, but I did it. Here we go. One, two, three... We have 14 enchanted cookies. We need 16 total. We have most of one right there. So to start off the stream, we're going to break some beans. What is it? Four stacks? And yeah, then we'll be able to make our freaking replenish book. Finally. So we've just gone over two stacks. Once we get the fourth, then we are good to go for replenish and we never have to replant beans again. I think just because of the low volume of beans that I'm going to be breaking today, I will replant on stream just because it's going to take like 20 minutes. Here we go. Let's go. We're almost done with this stupid beans. The thing is, the funny thing is, though, once we get replenish, we're going to be breaking a lot more cocoa beans, but we won't have to replant. That's the key difference. And breaking cocoa beans is actually kind of fun, so I don't have a problem with that. As a matter of fact, we're not replanting anything anymore after this because cane, you know, doesn't need to be replanted in general. Pumpkin and melon don't. Crop farms can use replenish. Here we go. Two. One. Boom! That is it. We're done. Yes. We got all the beans. Oh, it's incredible. One, two. 16 enchanted cookies. Can we get a GG? I'm so glad I'm done with that. Bro, this was such a pain to get without the bazaar, dude. No wonder it costs like 6 mil on the launch day and 2 mil ever since. All right. There's uh, something else we need. So once we get the replenish book, we're not done. I want to max out the axe, and that means one more anvil use. Where's my paper? <laughs> yeah, replenish. Yes. 